Okay, so you start out with some ink pens, a pencil, and an eraser. I personally use a .05 and .1 ink pen, you know, just, you know, for differences. And you also need a nice sheet of paper. And for Copics, personally, I use the Copic Sketch, and I don't know what the other one's called, but one of them is thick side, thin side, the thin side is like really thin tip, very firm, good for details, and the other one is a brush tip with a thinner thick side than the other one, if that makes sense. The brush tip is really convenient, I like it better because it just comes out more natural, and yeah. Also, if you're getting Copics, you should probably get a colorless blender. Um, it's just really convenient because, you know, markers, it's hard to mix colors. And anyway, so you start out with the sketch. Just make it really simple, easy to follow. And then after that, you use your pen to ink it. Make sure that you cover all the lines and that it's very neat. And yeah. Basically, that's just all you do for inking. When you're done, just erase it all and start with the skin. Pick out all your skin tones. And I always use the thick side when, you, when I'm like putting down the basic color. And so, yeah, just slap it all on. <laughs> I'm like really messy when it comes to the skin tone. Just because I feel like, you know, skin, lots of colors. And, um,. You start shading, but because shading with markers is hard, that's why the colorless blender comes in handy. You just take it and you go over the area several times, and then it comes out much smoother, much cleaner, much neater. It's really, really easy to use and it's really convenient. Yeah. Then after that, just add some pinks and darker shades to the face to make it more realistic, make it like blush and whatnot. And when you're done, it should look something like this. After that, I want I would like to start with like the eyes because I always start like from the head down. So I take these blues. I start with a light color first, then I take a darker color and make a circle on the inside and a line on the top and I put another circle and then I make the uh, what's it called pupil yeah so after that I will start on the hair I wanted to have like cotton candy pink hair so I take the lightest color and I go over it from like the center of the hairline outwards it, you have to be really careful to follow the um the way the hair flows See how the lines, they all go with the way that the hair flows. And when you're coloring hair, you should definitely use the Copic Sketch ones, the ones with the brush tip, just because it makes the hair look so much more natural and the colors and whatnot. And after that, you should take a break because these markers, they have like a smell to them that kind of gives you a headache. So take a break, eat. And after you're done eating, you should start on the clothes. And I want to give her a blue and green jacket, hoodie, sweatshirt thing. Anyways, so I drew stripes. And after I put down the base colors, once again, I start on the shading. Just the folds of the clothes um, darken around the sides. And after that, just finish up with a, some really cute little details. I drew little hearts. After I'm done with the shirt, I start with the skirt. And I want to give her this navy blue schoolgirl plaid uh, skirt. So I start down with the base colors. I shade a little bit. And then after that, I start drawing on the lines. I'm not done with this yet. I'm going to go over it again with a white pen for more lines. But I'll just come back to it later. After this, I want to finish up all the other little things like the hair clips, the belt, the ice cream. So I use all these colors. I put down the base colors 
I want this is gonna be really really colorful so yeah after that I shade and yeah I shade and I add more colors and after this I finish up with like my white pen I draw lights and eyes lights and hair my lines on the skirt after that I write my signature I always sign in Chinese just because I think it looks cool. And then basically you're done. Just scan it, edit on Photoshop, and it's very pretty and you're finished.